Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Wayward, shall we? Continuing our 2022 Complete Beginner's Guide. Well, today it looks like the Wheels and Wetlands update number two came out, and you can see in the uh, lower right of my screen, well, it's covered up by my picture, but this is update two. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what that change is, but great. Love to see that the game is still receiving some updates. And if I notice anything while I'm playing, I will let you know accordingly. So we're continuing with our uh, starter quest, and they want us to make a campfire. So uh, fires of all kind are fantastic for getting you uh, the ability to cook. So... Uh, among other things, certain crafting requires a fire, okay? So we're going to try to get this happening. Now, um, you could make a... It says right here you could technically start a fire at this moment, which is correct. If we use the hand drill, which we have right here, we could just use the ingredients that we have, provided we have enough like sticks and wood and stuff, to start a fire and make a fire wherever we want. But... Um, it's not necessarily going to be the best for us. It's not going to maybe keep as long. It's not going to be as useful. So we want to make an actual campfire itself, okay? Now, what I recommend you do, let's zoom out, and this is fine. I think it's a good idea to kind of make a campfire around a base area where you'll be using your bedroll, and this means that what we want is to have water nearby, because we're going to start getting thirsty and we're going to need to start producing water. We want to cook our meat and we want to have bed and we want to have access to like as many of the different kinds of resources as we can. So this is actually a good place because as I zoom out, you'll see that right to the north of us is a good amount of seawater. So we're going to um, follow the instructions right here. Now I'm actually going to right click over here um, and I'm going to... Uh, have this be start fire and I'm going to have this be stoke fire so I'm going to have the equal sign and the minus sign on the numpad be kind of uh, start fire and stoke fire these are both very important fire making things that you're going to do and having them mapped on the action bar is just a great shorthand now of course you can you know add more um, key commands and you can put them wherever you want. I'm just doing that right now where we don't have that many. So let's get some rocks. And the way that we get rocks um, is by going at the granite ground or most probably at the granite itself. Now, the island is not pleased with us. But we're going to try to work on that in a moment. Okay, I'm going to uh, kind of... Uh, let's just go ahead and hit. I'm using pushy number three, which I've mined to... Uh, or I've mapped rather to mining and we're using our shovel for this which again is not ideal uh, but it is working for the time being and now uh, we almost have enough rocks we need one more let me just go get one here and we have enough rocks and we need to craft a granite campfire okay now one thing that I want to point out when you start crafting for granite and you start getting stones and you have like a log in your inventory take a look at our encumbrance right our weight it fills up really fast so we get to a point where you know um we need to be mindful of not becoming over encumbered because it's just generally terrible uh, but in my experience you can just dump everything you want on the ground uh, and come get it later it doesn't despawn or get taken by things so what we're going to do is we're going to go to crafting and we're going to look around and indeed in the crafting window in the lower right here you can see that there's a granite campfire now if i couldn't make it i could of course just type in camp uh, to narrow this down and we see right here there's a granite campfire so i'm going to click on it uh, i'm going to close the search by pushing the x and i'm just going to click on this again um and we're trying to craft this. We failed. I'm going to try again, and we got it. It's right here. Now, it says the last part of this is to build the campfire, which we need to set it down somewhere. So I'm actually going to uh, set it right... Mm, right here. 
Okay, so I'm going to right click on the granite campfire and I'm going to select the top option in the item actions for build and we'll build it right in front of us. Okay, so now that we've built it, we can go to the next quest, which is called fire uh, with your hand drill. Okay, which we have built already. Uh, select the start fire option from the items menu while facing the campfire. And this will make a fire contained within it. You don't always get lucky when making a fire, meaning like you might not start it right away. Okay, and you might have to regather branches and other um, kindling to make it happen. But remember, I have mapped this already. Just start fire in general to here. And if I mouse over in the action bar, you can see that it says a hand drill above start fire, meaning like it's going to use the best item in my inventory, which is our hand drill anyway. So I'm just going to push equals and we tried, it says you failed to start a campfire using one leaves and one twigs, right? So we're using things from our inventory to try to make this happen. Um, and you can see that the leaf and the twig that we used, the white bar below them indicates their durability, they took a hit. So, you know, we have a few attempts with this particular leaf and twig. Uh, and if they break, then we have other ones to use, but we're gonna try again, just gonna push equals and we're leveling up our um, camping skill. Push it again, and we got it. So we got ourselves a fire, okay? And it says, be careful not to step in your fire. Indeed, this is a punishing game, and if you walk into your fire, well, guess what? You're going to take damage. You're going to hurt yourself, so you don't want that to happen. So here we are. So the next thing that we want to do is go to the quest called Stoking Fire. I'm going to click on this. And it says your fire could probably use more fuel as well. To add fuel to a fire, you can hover over it, okay, like this. And you can right-click the fire, and then you'll see um, that there is an option, but not in your hand. You have to go down to the item action, and then you'll see stoke fire right here, which is like shift S. You can also control S to put out your fire, okay? But I'm gonna push escape and just close all of that because I've already set stoke fire to the minus key, as you can see right here. And if I mouse over it, we're gonna try to use our tree bark right here to stoke it. Now, the other thing that's important about stoking the fire is if I mouse over the fire, you can see it says a lit granite campfire. It has durability 14 out of 18, and it's the fire has been reduced to embers. So this text right here, um, will tell you that it's been reduced to embers which is the strength of the fire and the more you stoke it and it's successful the stronger and more intense you can make the fire which means um it will last longer be more potent now if i push shift over it you'll see it's a two it's a tier two fire source which is the campfire of course we can get much better but right now this is what we've got we're castaways we have to make do with what we've got i'm going to push minus to stoke it now I completed the quest, right? And if I mouse over this, it says the fire is almost extinguished. But you can see graphically it has changed. And you could stoke it again, actually. And it says it's almost extinguished. And now it's struggling. Okay, it's getting a little bit better. I'm going to hit it again. And now we've got the fire all the way up to thriving. All right? So you don't have to do that. I just want to show you, you know, you, you keep feeding it kindling, tree bark, and stuff like that that you gather from trees. And then you can make this a big, strong fire. Next, they want us to cook with fire, okay? So we need to craft cooked meat. Now that you have a fire going, you can cook the meat, this nasty, tainted meat that we got. So what we're going to do um, is craft it, okay? So this is something that tricked me early in the game. You don't right-click on the fire or right-click on the food. You have to actually go to the crafting menu to cook, okay? When you're next to a fire, all right, watch this. If I turn around and, and step away from the fire and I try to do this, it still shows up as a recipe, but it says you need a nearby fire source, okay? And so now, um, if I mouse over it, it's going to say you have one, okay? And you don't need to necessarily be facing it. You just need to be close to it. And I'm going to click on this, and we successfully prepared cooked taint meat, okay? So you could see that we'd made some cooked tainted meat, okay? Now, it has a decay rate on it, 0.1%, okay? Which means this is going to, like, go bad after a bit. But what I want to point out to you is that it says a piece of discolored meat cooked to kill possible toxins, but possibly still unsafe for consumption. So this isn't the best thing in the world to eat. You can try, but it's one of those things where it's like you might get sick um, if you eat it, and yet 
you might be in an emergency state where you have to eat it. Always eat it instead of starving, obviously. But I'm going to show you a couple things all at once. Right now, they want us to make a water still. So I'm going to click on this, and now um, it's going to the game is going to explain to us how to get water. This is one of the most important things that you're going to be doing early in the game. It can be overwhelming. You want to do a lot of things, like you want to you know fight monsters, you want to explore, you want to you know craft and build all your tools and all these things. The most important things, in my opinion, early are food and water. Okay. Um, of course, you want to build tools to facilitate that, but you got to set that up, and I'll explain why. But basically, water takes time to produce unless you're lucky enough to just find some uncontaminated fresh water on your map, but it's unlikely. So, or at least in my experience, it, it like sometimes I find it, and then sometimes you find fresh water on your map, and it's contaminated, and you get sick from drinking it. Sometimes it's okay, and sometimes it's just an island, there's no lakes, there's no fresh water, and you need to desalinate it, and we're going to do that with our um, water still. Now, before I do that though, I'm going to show you a few things. Alright, so we have some food that we can eat, alright, but if I face this grass and I just push dig, okay, um, you can see that my island height is negative 1335, if I do it again, it goes up by 10. The reason that I'm getting positive island um, interaction, the island likes this activity, is because you can see that I'm raising the botany skill. And if you mouse over the botany skill in the combat log, um, or the message log, I should say, it does say at the bottom that it gives you reputation impact plus 10. Meaning that whenever you're doing a botany action, that a skill that's governed by botany, or uh, an action, I should say, that's governed by the botany skill, you will receive positive um, island love for doing it. Okay, now I'm going to do it a little bit more, um, and I'm going to show you that if you do it too much, however, okay, now um, there's dirt. And if I use this, okay, and I say dig, um, I'm going to be digging now. Now watch my, I'm at negative 1285, and if I do this, now the island doesn't like it. Because once the grass is gone, this has gone from being botany, like tending to the grass, to mining, which the island doesn't like, okay? So if you want to get yourself some favor, then do botany by digging at the grass, but don't do it once the grass has become bare, okay? Because now you've, like, exceeded your limit. The grass is not growing back as well. Um, so anyway, uh, just pointing that out to you, if you want to do this, and you can find good things when you're digging in the grass. Look what we got so far. We got plant roots, okay, which is a medicinal item that you can actually potentially make a healing item with. Um, you can eat this, and you can make rope out of it with cordage. Now we got an earthworm, which you can use as bait on a fishing pole, okay? You can also eat it. We got grass, which we can use for our fire or composting for gardening. Um, craft with it, and then we got grass seeds, which you can plant or eat. So just doing that with the grass is a great way to, you know, just kind of pass some time, have the island like you, and get some emergency food until you get an engine up and running. But now let's get our uh, water engine going. So you can see by crafting that campfire, uh, our island, or I'm sorry, our weight has gone down considerably because we're not carrying rocks anymore. I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to dig this out. And it's not as good um, as just getting, there we go, rocks uh, from mining, all right? So you can dig the granite ground if you're looking more for stones. But if you want granite, go ahead and mine from um, like what looks like a, a mountain or a wall, okay? So now we have everything here, but we need to collect string and collect a pole. Now, I want to tell you, when it says collect string, um, that verb is a little odd it, not necessarily, but you can pick up string. I don't mean like it's impossible, but you're going to craft it. And you can see right here, there's string. It's called, it, it's referred to as cordage. And to make this, you need um, particular items uh, that can be used for cordage. And you see when I mouse over this, it's going to tell me that um, my stripped bark and my plant roots are being used. So like when you mouse over the item that you want to craft, the ingredients are highlighted in your inventory so if you don't want to lose 
um, your plant roots, for example, then what you can do is go to dismantle and dismantle a branch if you have one, and you will get cordage from doing this, okay? Also, you can see that it says collect a pole. By dismantling a branch, you will get a um, pole, okay? And, like, so we got a pole, and we also got leaves, okay? Uh, but more importantly, we got more strip bark, which we can use for cordage, and we got twigs, which we can use to stoke our fire. So taking apart branches is great. It gives you a lot of good stuff, all right? Um, and uh, it is woodworking, though, and woodworking the island doesn't like, but not very much. It's only minus five. Mining is, like, awful. Chopping, you know, um, that kind of stuff, usually bad. Um, anyway now we have this but we need to make string now if i want to make string it's going to try to use my roots and i don't really want it to um so you can see that by rearranging my inventory a little bit i've got it to kind of use my bark instead of my roots now my thought on this and i think this is correct is that it goes from top to bottom left to right to see what it can possibly use so like if i were to switch these um you see how it's now selecting the roots but if i put these down at the bottom and keep the bark above it now i can control like what i use actually to make this and it's telling me it consumes two out of the three total cordage that i have and i use it and i've made myself a string so now um, we can craft a granite water still. You can see it right here. It is stone crafting. Um, and if I do this, well, I tried. I did it. And this is actually positive. So stone crafting is actually, um, it says uh, minus five right here, but we, hmm, I thought it said plus 20 for a moment. I must have been looking at that wrong. Anyway, um, if I go to my skills, okay, and I look at stone crafting, uh, yeah, stone crafting, I guess, is always minus five. All right, then maybe I just saw that wrong. Um, tinkering, woodworking, lumberjacking, horrible. Lumberjacking is actually worse than mining in terms of how much the island dislikes it, okay? So you can always look there to get a sense of what the island likes and doesn't. Now, you see this ZZZ icon here? It means I'm tired. I've got only four left. So I'm actually going to go up here and I'm going to um, place down my bedroll, okay? So I'm going to right click on my bedroll and I'm going to use this item this uh, item action called place down. I'm just going to put it right next to my fire and I'm going to um, right click on my bedroll and I'm just going to rest, okay? And you rest for a little bit and I got myself back. Um, a bunch of my stamina. I'm going to do it again, okay? I'm just going to rest again. Uh, and now we're up doing very good on stamina, but as you can see, the more you rest, the more your starvation and dehydration kind of tick away. And our fire is um, almost extinguished. Now I can, of course, just stoke it back up, boost up my camping skill, Okay, notice that camping is not minus or negative. Like, the island doesn't seem to um, care one way or the other about camping. So you can do this all you want, and it doesn't give you favor or take it away. And this is still... Um, now the fire is very healthy. Okay, so great. The reason it doesn't look so good is because there's a pile of ash that's on top of it. Okay, so you can write... You know, you can see that there's a pile of ash there. All right. So we're going to build this granite water still, but we want to build this, okay, um, in the water. Now I'm going to show you, um, or I'm sorry, right next to the water. This is not the right still to build in the water. Later on, we're going to get one we can build in the water, okay? But this still right here takes fire, so you can't build it in the water, but you want to build it next to the water, and I'll show you why. I'm going to right-click on this, and I'm going to say build, okay? So we've now built... A water still and a granite water still it's right here and um the water still interaction is actually a whole bunch of steps that might be surprising so i'm going to show you all of those right here so we're going to do um this next quest filling the still so um to test out your new still you need to grab some water from the ocean with an empty container then choose gather water and face the ocean with your container um, and then we're going to talk about that. But 
at the moment we don't have an empty container i can search for container and the only thing we have is this water skin of purified fresh water which already has water in it okay so i'm not going to empty this out all right at the moment um i have nine out of 17 uh on my dehydration so i'm going to take a moment before i collect seawater uh, because i don't want to waste any of the water that i have right here all right so i want to just save this until i'm a little bit thirstier so in the meantime i think it's a good idea to think about what else we want to start doing with this character to help our survival so here's some ideas number one we don't we have a good shovel but we don't and we have an axe but we don't have a mining pick so let's build a pickaxe so i'm going to search for pick down here in crafting and just see what we need we need string sharp granite and poles okay so easily enough we know that um, i have to close this so i can search uh, once we get a a branch we can dismantle it and start getting a pole and some string so i'm going to go down here and i'm just going to face this tree right here it's a maple tree um and i don't necessarily want leaves at the moment i've got some so i'm actually going to go to this um tree right here which is the kind of bare maple tree and we're going to chop it chop we got a log chop we got a branch and i'm going to dismantle this right click dismantle right click dismantle um the branch okay now um, I've got myself a pole. I can easily make cordage. It will take my root, okay? And I don't want that, so I'm going to find... Um, do to do to do Dismantle and to see, can I get anything good? Yes, I can. If I dismantle tree bark, okay, I will get strip bark, which I need, and I'm just going to put it up in my inventory. Now, when I craft a string, I'm going to use that strip bark... So you can always dismantle tree bark to make yourself one piece of string because it gives you two um, strip bark. You can shift when you have it moused over and see what it dismantles into. As long as you have a sharpened item, you'll produce two stripped bark, which is great. And that's what we need. So from here, I'm going to see what else do I need for a pickaxe? Well, I think I need some more sharp granite. Uh, and let me see if I want to craft sharp granite i just need um some more granite right so let's go mining and do that again i'm just paying attention to my metabolism for thirst and uh hunger and i'll deal with that and the still when the time comes but i'm not thirsty enough to drink all of my good fresh water that i start with i got a note um about stamina basically saying that i need to rest and recover stamina which we did and I'm going to go ahead and mine right here. Now that we have this, okay, we got one piece of granite. We still can't make um, sharp granite because um, to make sharp granite, um, we need two pieces of granite, okay? So we're going to get another granite. Um, oops, close this up. And, oh, we just got a sharp granite um, from mining. Terrific. We don't even need to craft anything. So now... Um, when I'm looking into what I can craft over here, I'm getting close to the point where I can make a pickaxe, but what am I missing? I am missing a string. Now, I thought I made a string. Um, oh, no, no, I didn't. I, I must have failed uh, when I tried to create it. Um, I did fail. No, no, this time I made it. Great. Okay, and you'll see that uh, the pickaxe is available, and I'm going to make a granite pickaxe. Now look at my uh, hatred, negative 1465. Oh my gosh, 1485, because making a pickaxe is minus 80. Now, we have a pickaxe. If I mouse over mining, now it says it's going to use a granite pickaxe. So this is better for us for mining. But let's go ahead and make ourselves a tool to get some love back from the island as well, if this becomes interesting to us. And that's going to be, we need to be able to till the earth, okay? So we want to plant stuff. So we need a hoe. So to make a hoe, we just need two string, a sharp granite, and a pole. So very similar. Most tools take poles, sharp granite, and string. You're kind of just making it in that fashion. So again, what do we need? Well, we're going to dismantle 
the tree bark, okay? And we're going to do it again. And then we're going to craft ourselves some string. But I'm going to put this root all the way at the bottom so I don't use it. I want to either eat that, okay? Um, or I want to use it as, like, potentially a healing item, right? If I want to make a bandage, I need to use fabric. If I want to make a suture, I need to use string and a needle. And if I want to make a tourniquet, I need a pole and some string. And none of that I need right now. But by the way, if you ever bleed and you need a bandage, you can always dismantle the, your tattered clothing that you start with to make a bandage for yourself to save your life if that happens. Okay? So now I still want to make a hoe. So we're going to need... Sharp granite and a pole. Okay, so easily enough, we're just going to walk down here. I'm going to close this so that I can use the numpad to type. Um, if you are, like, in the search bar and you try to use the num numpad or anything on the keyboard, it's going to think that you're still typing and it just put it in the filter screen. So you have to push the X to get out of that or push escape. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop this. All right, and chop it again. We got a... a branch which is exactly what we wanted i'm going to dismantle it uh now we just need to get some sharp granite i'm going to go back here i'm going to mine and we can make sharp granite with the two pieces of granite we got and now i can craft myself a granite hoe i tried and now look at this making a granite hoe just gives you plus 70 reputation with the island okay so our rep goes up and we're doing great we finally crafted it we're getting a little bit tired i'm going to go ahead and sleep on my roll by the way, while I rest, I love calling it I Island Enmity or Island Hate, but reputation, I think, is actually a pretty good word for it, too, because that's what the game uses, and it makes a lot of sense. So uh, let me work that into my little wayward lexicon. All right, so now we have a, a hoe. I'm going to right-click on number six, and I'm going to say till. I want to till the ground with number six, okay? So now the action till is here, and we're going to use our granite hoe. So what you need to do is pick like a bare space of ground, okay? Um, on the bare soil, on the dirt. Now check this out. I'm going to go down here, and I'm just going to use six. And watch our rep. Every single time we till, we're getting some rep. As long as we skill up, I guess. Um, there we go. Yeah, you have to. It has to actually work, okay, uh, for you to get the reputation point. And then we got this tilled. Now that I have it tilled. Look what happens if I right click on this. I can actually go here, and I can do stuff. I can pack the ground, okay, if I want. But what if I go into my inventory and I search for any seeds that I have? Do I have any? I do. Remember, I started with cotton seeds. And I also started with some chive seeds and some other cotton seeds. Um, okay, so I'm going to actually plant. I'm going to right-click on these seeds and just plant these right there. And this is something that the island loves. If you right-click, okay, and you want to plant them, you have to be on tilled area, okay? And it's in the germinating stage of growth. And this is good, but of course, uh, we're going to need to water this for it to grow. I tilled it, and... If I go to my chive seeds and I say plant, okay, um, watch my rep. It's negative 1385. Boom. I mean, we got 105 for planting that, okay? So this is a great way to get the love of the island back. Here's gardening, okay? But this note appears once you try to garden. And it says I might need to consider trying my hand at crafting fertilizer and fertile soil, all right? And I need to water my plants, okay? So I'm going to need to water them, uh, which I could water them uh, by just pouring out my own water, but that's not where I'm at in the game right now. It's too valuable for me. So I'm just kind of taking some time to just dig till, 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 and then we're going to go back um, to my seeds again, and I'm going to plant cotton seeds again, and the island is really looking favorably upon this. I'm actually going to move down here and I'm going to kind of till some rows of a garden so that if we wanted to try to move some water over here maybe we could to get these plants water um, I plant that alright we're down to negative 980 on our rep because we're doing things that the island likes okay and we're getting really really tired um, I'm going to do it again and we tried but it's time to rest okay so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to rest 
And then now I'm gonna just kind of right click on this. Now, here's the thing you can do. I'm just gonna do this and I'm going to put rest on my action bar because I'm doing it a lot recently. I'm just gonna push zero. Remember you interact with the tile in front of you. So you wanna be either um, like standing, I think if you're on your bed it might work, but you need to be facing it so that you'll use your bed. Um, and I'm gonna actually do it again. Okay, now we're really thirsty. Look at our thirst, it's down to three. So we're at the thirsty stage, so it's time to actually drink our water. Now I'm going to drink this water skin, okay? Now watch, we're at 3 out of 17. I'm going to drink it, and you can see that it gave us 10 hydration, which is why I don't want to waste it, okay? Um, and this is decayed 50%, so I'm going to show you what happens if you eat tainted meat. I'm at 6 out of 17, and I just ate this, okay? And what happened? You lost four health, regained three stamina, sated eight hunger, and gained two thirst. Click on the note to see. Um, so I got thirsty, and the game um, is telling you about what to do when you get thirsty. Okay, and then also, that was inedible. Consuming this may have not been the best. I'm lucky not to have been poisoned. So we didn't get poisoned, but it cost me health, okay? So we need to be careful with that, but it did relieve our hunger for the time being, which is fantastic. Now it's time to talk about the water still. Okay, so what we want to do here is finish the still by collecting seawater. So this is complicated. Let's, let me walk you through this. So you're going to take your empty water skin, you're going to right click, and you're going to use the top item action gather liquid while facing the seawater. So now when I mouse over this, it says a water skin of seawater, which is what you want. Then you are going to turn and face your water still. You're going to right click on your bag and you're going to pour Okay, you pour it into the container on the still. If I mouse over it, it says a granite water still, ready to be lit to desalinate water. There is unpurified water in the still. So we've kind of put, we've poured the seawater in there. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to right click on this before you start a fire and click attach container. So then you can see that the um, water skin is now on there so that it will collect the fresh water. The next thing you need to, oh, it says the next quest is actually attach a container, and then you need to do desalination, which is light a fire under it, okay? Um, so you'll need to boil and steam the liquid to get some fresh water. Um, after it's on fire, you want to stoke it so it's on fire long enough to desalinate the water, which we talked about, and it says it wants you to get the fire to at least struggling, okay? So we're going to just click equals to light a fire now it won't let you do that unless you have it all set up with with water inside and a container attached it's ready if i mouse over this you can see the fire has been reduced to embers the same kind of interaction that we had with our campfire and i'm just going to push minus which i've mapped to stoke fire okay and um we now have it all the way here to um it's almost extinguished i'm going to keep doing this we got it to struggling which is what the quest wanted us to get it to i'm going to actually do it a little bit more until i get it thriving um, and then there we go and it's thriving and now they want us to gather water after it's on fire you'll have to wait until the water container is filled before picking it up you can do some other tasks while you wait it will take approximately 250 turns before it is ready this is why getting water stills as many as you can ready as fast as you can is so important because um, it takes time for the water process to happen and desalinate. So you've got to do this um, and get this set up early so that you don't die of dehydration. Now, the game does give you that water up front, like we talked about, but you need to get this going quickly, which is why it's part of the opening quest. So now um, we can just kind of kill some time and wait until it's ready. When you mouse over it, it'll say it's a lit granite water still desalinating water through evaporation which is fine okay and what you need to do is wait until it says that it's got purified water ready to be collected then you're good to go but you need to just wait for this it says there's unpurified water in the still at the bottom and it'll tell you when it's ready and then what you'll do is you'll attach the t container probably drink the water and then use that same container again to gather seawater put it in there relight it and you want this always going for your thirst okay so great so now we've talked about building a campfire cooking we've talked about um gardening how to positively impact your reputation with the island 
Um, you know, we've built a pickaxe, a hoe, uh, and we're really, really doing well at keeping ourselves alive, at least in the beginning. Um, and I think this is a good place to end this episode. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful to you. Please post any questions you have about Wayward down below. Take care.